It's been a stressful last seven days for the islands, but I'm happy to say we are done with the heavy rains. We don't anticipate any strong winds. Vog levels are low and surf is low for the islands. So we're really in good shape going into the weekend with just a few scattered windward showers. You can see those showers start to pop up within the scope of the radar. So we'll see these pass through tonight, but no major problems in terms of that rain as that moisture field that was sitting over us now starts to, well, it has already started to retreat to the west. We might see some windward showers pop up this weekend, but they are not going to be any sort of problem. Off to the central and east Pacific, Miriam is now in the central Pacific. We're going to be anticipating that curve to the north with Miriam and Norman is just chugging away far from the islands and is expected to become quite a strong system, probably be to the northeast of the Hawaiian Islands in about a week's time. And then we'll see what happens with Olivia, which hasn't formed yet, but has a fairly high chance of becoming a tropical depression at the very least in the course of the next five days or so. The track for Miriam again, as well as Norman, you can see that projected track to the north, and there's fairly high confidence that that would happen, and Norman right behind it on a similar track, hopefully away from the Hawaiian Islands. The, these are only five-day tracks from the Central Pacific Hurricane Center and the East Pacific Hurricane Center, so they're subject to change, but I'll keep you posted every newscast and online at KHON2.com. Serve for the South Shores tomorrow, 2 to 4, 3 to 5 out west. We do have one marine advisory, and that is a small craft advisory. It's a good sign of trade winds, a little bit stronger for areas such as Maui County as well as the Big Island. So for planning purposes, I know you're already thinking about the holiday weekend and the weather looks nice. Slight changes in wind some days, a bit more breezy than others, but we'll have winds between 20 and 25 miles per hour tops. And from late uh, Sunday in through Monday, we might see a modest increase in windward of Malka showers for the Labor Day weekend. But other than that, no problems. Get out there and enjoy that time off. Enjoy that three-day weekend.